Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Will and Deshaun Show podcast. I am Will. And I'm Deshaun. Hey, Deshaun, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I am excellent. Good. So today, guys, we're going to discuss a materialistic gays. Not just materialistic gays, materialistic people. Why are everybody, why, especially why are the gays so materialistic? Right. So I guess, you know, with, with the community, a lot of people tend to put a lot of value into what they have on and different brands and, you know, where they stay. And so why do we have elitism in the gay community? Is it because of, is that a black thing or is that just a gay thing? I would say there's elitism in every community, okay. from black to white to Asian to every single community. There is some form of elitism. So if, so if you don't wear brands, high-end brands, let me just say that, because there are different brands, but if you don't wear high-end brands, you're not on that level? You're not that girl? Um, you're I, not that guy? I mean, not for me. You know, I don't pay attention to brands. Um, I'm not going to say I don't wear brands, but brands don't define a person to me. See, that's what the girl, the broke girl say, who ain't got it. Uh, <laughs> was that a broke statement? Yes. Oh, brands don't make me. I make the brand. I mean, but I feel that's like... What, they say that's what the broke gay say. Do they? Um, well, that's what I got to say today. Because <laughs> I do feel like you, you make the brand. Um, you know, so many people just wear... You know, because trends come into the into the limelight and different things come into season, into fashion and it causes a lot of people to look alike you know, and a lot of times y'all be all having on the same thing, whether you paid a thousand dollars for it and it's Gucci or a hundred dollars for it and it's H&M, it all looked the same in my opinion. It's so. very copycats out here I, I, I see a lot of um, twins and triplets and quadruplets out here, nobody has no individuality, that's how I kind of figure like if I don't, that's not the wrong way in high end brands low end brands or whatever kind of brand that you want to wear but the thing is, is that Okay, especially the gays have a look. What's the gay look? Now this is this is the, this is the look of 2019. This, this, there are two different looks. All right. Okay. So the one look is the little neon clothes. You know the neon clothes are in now. So everybody got like the neon match. Whatever it is, the gay look. So no, it's basically, but this year is the whole neon look the, with the matching shorts and t-shirts and them big ass transformer Balenciaga shoes. Yeah. So that's one. Whatever's like. Super duper trendy, like right. super duper trendy. So that's one look. And of course, you got to have your Lisa Gucci belt or Hermes belt or some, some kind of brand emblem belt. Gotcha. Brand belt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then there's brunch look. What's the brunch oh, look? Oh, the brunch look. Now, you got to have your like a nice little college shirt, you know, jeans with the rip at the knee, and your all time favorites, brunch boots, <laughs> aka the Chelsea's. You know what? I don't subscribe to that stuff. <laughs> sure. I guess I'm not. You're not one of those fashion right. guys. I'm okay, not. you're not one of the fashion guys. I mean, but even let, if let, I let was, me let you know, Frank, you're, you're not a fashion <laughs> guy. It's okay. I'm just because I feel like I don't know. I, I guess I'm just not in the fashion like that. I once was like a while ago, but you know, you grow up, you start wearing uniforms every day. That, that's true. That your job will kill whatever your uh, fashion trend is. Right. But I would say you. For me personally, who's a person who's like fashion and stuff like that, I feel like your closet should always be like divided into like three things. And what are those three things? One thing, it depends on what kind of work that you do. Mm -hmm. Your work clothes, your play clothes, or like you're going out, you know, having drink clothes, and you're like dressier clothes mm -hmm. for like more of a special occasion. Like if you, for those who go to church or who, something that you all, that you can went to a funeral or like a, interview and stuff like that. I feel like you always just need something. What if you want to go to like a fancy restaurant? I feel like you always need those three sections in your closet. Mm -hmm. Right. So when it comes to being materialistic, why do you think gays, or just people in general, but more so gays, this is a gay show. Why do you think we're so into fashion and into trends and into brands? Because and we have to do, outdo each other. Oh. Why? They're just. I, I think that's just a black thing. I think that's something that... So you don't think white gays are into this stuff? Oh, absolutely, they are. But, it, of course, everybody, again, like we say, everybody have their elitism in their own community. Because Asians, they real trendy, too. Oh, absolutely. Right. But they can afford it. Ooh. They make it, so they, they get it for the low. <laughs> not they. <that. laughs> Am I lying? I'm not subscribing to that. Okay. Um, but anyway, black, we, we are. And I will preface this by saying, 
everyone should like nice things. Right. And nice things come in a lot of different names. They come in a lot of different names, come in a lot of different things. But I feel like if you're materialistic, you're going after these certain brands and this is what you put your value in. Are we all a little materialistic? In some form, yes. Because right. I mean, as you grow, there are going to be brands that stick out to you a little bit more. Everybody has something that um, you subscribe to. I always say like, I'm not into brands, but I buy what I buy and I like what I like. So even if I had a million dollars, it doesn't mean I'm going to... Gap is your brand. <laughs> that's what you like and that's what you're going to spend your But brand. I like Gap because it's plain and it's simple. See, your brand. No, plain and simple. <laughs> but but I like it because that's what I like. Now I like Gap because it says G-A-P. I think there's a difference between... I like Gucci because I admire... The design of what the versus I like Gucci because even though I might not say it, I like Gucci because I like the little symbol and I like for it to be all over my clothes. I think there's a difference between the two worlds. I'm not saying nothing's wrong with any world, but all I'm saying is if I we're not get now that I have some money, okay, okay, I shop, I buy what I like, I just buy what I like. I buy what I like, you know. If it's so, Gucci, Gap, can you get us a sponsorship? Because the shop spends a lot of money at you guys. If it's Gap, if it's Gap, if it's Gucci, it's Gucci. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just I hate for people to put too much into brands to the point where they're like down. Oh you yes, know, looking down upon oh, the people. Being now very the gays got that them. bad. Now people who got money had that bad too, but the gays. They look at what you wear and they judge. Oh, absolutely, you got to be. You have. You have to dress nice. You know, unfortunately, in the gay community, every, everybody have their own style, but they will look you up and down, head to toe, and judge every single thing now you I, got on. Uh, excuse me. Are you just stereotyping gay guys? No. Am I aligned? So, if I, so, you always talk about the better than you gay. So, to be in this better than you gay club, do you have to wear the latest fashions? Yes. <laughs> you have to dress in the latest fashions. Ain't no one going away with you. You have to have your one of the kind pieces. You got to have your fashions. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're private to be a better than you guys. Yes. You cannot. That's that lets you know that I am better than you because I can afford these things. Shut up. I hate you. I hate you. That is you so high school. A, you can, but that's what it is. You cannot be a better than you gay unless you got better than you. Basically, they're not going to hang around you if you just. Oh, absolutely not. Now, you can. Or. Let's just say that you don't have necessary labels because mm-hmm. it it's not necessarily based on labels. Mm-hmm. It's based on how you dress. Okay, so it's still break, based on your fashion. It's based on your fashion. Okay. Now you can't be looking like uh, plain and simple. I can't just wear my little family reunion t shirt and some jeans. And no, that don't happen. Some Uggs. Sandals. You can do that when you're in the house kicking it with your homeboys or you right. just around the house. But when you step out, you got to step out. Okay. So hey, but there's no excuses now. Because the better than you guys also still do the high low thing. So they shops at the H and M's. The no no sorry H and M is a little too low. Zara H and M is too low. I don't think you know I they might H&M. get them. A, they might get them a piece at H and M or two. But they more so it's like the Zara if they can't do the, the designer designer. So it's like the Zara, the ASOS, the fashion of a man. You know the the unique clothes. All these little um, online boutiques now that people you know shop at. So that's what they kind of do. I don't even like H and M like that to be honest. H and M fashions is too fast fashion and it's too one and gone. And it's cheap. That's the the quality that's the purpose is gonna the, rip open. Right, night. it's fast fashion. But um, not to say that I never buy anything out of H and M, but I'm just saying. But um, you know, you know, H and M is always the starter for the gays who ain't got no money. Right. Before but they get to better than you, H and M is a place I will go and look in. But I probably get them won't a booster. buy anything. Oh, okay, so. Explain what a booster is. Somebody who goes and steals things and sells <laughs> them to you for a cheaper price. Oh, that's a lot. Or you have stylist friends who give you clothes. Do you think gays being into like entertainment and that arena contributes to us being into fashion and into materialistic stuff? Yes, style? because we want to be we we do idolize celebrity culture. Right. And now with reality show celebrities and right. also now with these online reality shows, people really feel like they have to keep up with the Joneses. And also with these online um Instagram and and we're more so Instagram um celebrities mm-hmm. and quote unquote influencers, fashion influencers and stuff, you really have to feel like you um the influence. You really have to feel like, oh shit, let me step my game up. Because right. If everybody, you notice people, friends, I say this all the time, if your friendship circle, y'all all look alike, 
y'all all a carbon copy of each other. Something wrong with that. There's no diversity. There's no. Everybody can still dress nice, but you would notice like most of them are all light skin and buff, buff, or they either all dark skin and buff, or all brown skin and buff. And they all wear the big old Balenciaga shoes, the Prada, the Chelsea blue. But people are the, attracted to what they're comfortable with. Yeah, but with not everybody in your whole friend group should be a carbon copy of each other. That's true. But, um, you know. But, and also, that's just aesthetic, too. They all can be very different people on the inside. They can. Now, I get it. Right. But me and you... We dress totally slightly different. Yeah. We don't look alike. Our other friends in our circle doesn't look alike. Right. Everybody's dressed differently. So we can't say that. And we all still definitely have different personalities. And I feel like your personality should show in your personal style. I think, yeah, it should. Because like you said, going back, you like Gap. Gap fixed your person, your personal style and your and who, you're, who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If the, the brands or the the way to close from these places work out their personal style, which is perfectly fine. But when it's like six of y'all, five of y'all, four of y'all, and all y'all look like car- like, y- like y'all can swap outfits like it's a paper doll, that's a problem. Right. And then you want to read and judge everybody else who don't look like or feel like you, or you feel like they're on your level with right. your stolen fashions. Right. I also feel like sometimes we just put too much in the fashion. Like, we put too much into materialistic things in general. So the, shit, to, to go back to shit, yeah. to go back to materialistic things, so that also goes with cars and homes. Because I don't, yeah, and yeah. jewelry, right? I don't think a person's fashion. I'm more so into how you look physically, personally. That's my. That's why I'm going to the gym so I can look good in right. and out of clothes. Or my surface, my surface. Um, I don't know, vice. So are you? Um, what it's so you're based on their aesthetic. Yeah. As far as like the way they body looks. I mean, I don't like. want you to be a, a bum. As far as like, I want you to keep yourself up. I mean, but we don't have to, you don't have to be. You as, can't date a bum, Deshaun? You, you don't have to be as good. You can't date a bum, Deshaun? A bum living on the street? A bum in general. Just uh, somebody who's bummy. At the, did you see them and like, oh, they bummy? You can't date them? I don't know if I could. But like, what I'm saying is, I've never been turned off by high person dresses. Okay. Like the people who so I they have been. Yeah. They wear the booty shorts and, and a half. I'm about it. <laughs> so <laughs> said, yeah, it. But but I'm saying the people I've dated, it never was like, oh, I, I want you to dress better. It was other things. Like I'm not really concerned with as much. Now I'm not gonna say if eventually I'm not gonna be like, well, you should change. You know what I'm saying? I have an opinion. I have a style too. Um, I have. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't have to be as good a dresser as I am. You know what I'm saying? But, it ain't that hard. <laughs> 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 but we'll say he'll cut somebody off because of how they dress. I've been turned off by how someone dress. Mm. How do they dress? Um, too eccentric for me. Okay. Who? What's Some his name? That's that's beside the point. We don't put out people's name. That's in the past. Oh. I don't kiss and tell. You know? No, I don't. Okay. So, uh-huh. um, I just you know sometimes everybody is aesthetic doesn't fit you. Right. I get it. You know sometimes somebody gets a little bit more cut. And sometimes it gets a little bit more overly like trade or hood clothes. I'm like, ugh. Right, okay. You know, so you not know, every aesthetic fits like what you say. Not to say that I'm like some model type, but in my mind I am. In I said my in my mind. mind. It, cut it. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm not saying, but clothes and stuff are such a uh, trivial thing to me. Right. That's so like. So easy to. Like, yeah, that's so easy to be fixed and. And I like individuality. I don't want my. I wouldn't want my mate. I, I wouldn't want my mate to dress well. Now that's because I like a nice looking dress like a man. Because actually, it I helps. I like being who more dress who dress dress up more than I can see you just in your t- jeans and t shirt, right? It or your short, j- shorts and t shirt. For me, it helps, but in my pie, it's not like a big piece. Oh no, no, right? No, no, no. You know what I mean? In my little because I don't care. About, I don't even care about what you kind of drive car you drive, as long as you have one, right? Or even if you just take a whole boy, you catch the train. As long as you know how to use transportation. Some of y'all be acting like y'all know where the train is, y'all know where the bus is, y'all never heard of Uber or Lyft in your life. That's a whole nother story, but okay. I, that's true. I stopped when I got my car. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for in, like in real life and real talk, um, like those things, like I don't even care where you stay as long as you have a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, because some people are, material, are, are based on like 
where you live and every they judge you based on especially the gays they judge you based on where you live and what kind of car you drive and i think we're all even what kind of even if you even if you're not educated or the educated level of they feel like you should be educated or even um even in your career rise you oh, get yeah. you get judged I'm constantly let me tell you something my career judge judge See? like Judge, like, and, and in a sense, we're all kind of judging in some type of way. Whether oh, we're absolutely. saying we it, all we all judge in a way, and I think people often forget that judging is like complimenting or dissing. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if I say you look good, I'm judging you. Whether I say you look bad, I'm judging you. Like, we're all judging, but I think when you start to down make too many moves on those, um. When you start to put too much weight in those surface judgments, and gays do that. Gays, yeah. we have both experience i know we've experienced people who have judged what kind of work we do right judge if, if we didn't have degrees because you know some a lot of people put that in their profiles you know you can deal with a lot and there's nothing wrong with showing off your degree no i'm there's nothing wrong with that again you paid that money right you go to school for whatever that you want to be but don't judge me if i have not done do same right they all gonna judge you in your head in their head right you know not i mean in this era and i've again i've dated some high profile men who have degrees uh, more than one but i never was judged by them per se because they never really care but you know you just have some people and i honestly you know what's so funny i never experienced that's how i moved here oh really so i moved in atlanta where everybody's so um fickle and so i guess judgmental about uh, judgmental about the most trivial things which i never really understood. i feel like in this era you don't have to be it's the era of church entrepreneurship it's just the era of oh, degrees oh, oh, don't you know, that's pay the, as much but that's, the, that's the new thing too right and now if they, they're judging you, you you still working on somebody else's job but a lot of people still got jobs I don't understand that judgment I, I heard somebody say that before right. oh most people still have jobs like, where they oh, tell you still you work a regular job right. it's so sad I'm like wait what right. <laughs> but um yeah whatever but anyway you know there's better than you gay then that's Will then there's Deshaun. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm right up on it. Okay. Oh gosh. But um thank But it's you. easy to hold on Deshaun, before you close out the podcast. There is easy to be, you know, to become a better than you any person. There's nothing wrong with um wanting the best out of life. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have the latest fashions, the latest labels, or the better car. We all should you know, should um subscribe or should want more for your life and whatever more for your life is it doesn't just have to be a, a mercedes or a g-wagon or or some gucci or prada or whatever what more for your life is i think that everybody should want to elevate themselves in a in some form of level and shouldn't stay at the same level that you are right exactly and with that being said guys comment let us know how you think let us know if you are materialistic let us know if you you know what kind of fashions you bring what kind of labels did you like or even if if that doesn't even if if that does or do not matter to you subscribe to our podcast hit the notification bell to let you know every time we're coming on deshaun you have any last words no thank y'all so much for subscribing and we love y'all bye y'all